Watch Patrick Swayze and his Arabian Stallion Talon after they've just won the Amateur Owner Handler class here at Scottsdale. Patrick's wife Lisa is among the crowd cheering them on. Patrick has loved horses all his life, influenced as a child by his father and by his friends Tom and Rita McNair, world famous breeders, trainers, and exhibitors from Pinehurst, Texas. Surely the crowd loves seeing this talented movie actor, but right now, Patrick prefers the role he plays as talent's owner and handler, and he loves being a part of the horse world. You know, I grew up with quarter horses and rodeoing and stuff, and uh, uh, after getting beat against a few fences, I uh, decided that wasn't for me. I still calf rope, uh, but Tom McNair uh, is one of the, the major breeders and trainers of uh, Arabians in the world, uh, Egyptian Arabians, and I uh, uh, fell in love with these horses when I was nine years old, because his wife, Rita, and... Uh, his son and daughter Maggie and, and Ben and uh, Dan and Maggie uh, studied dancing with my mother and I taught them to swim, so I've known them all my life. So when they were uh, the trainers for Glenlock Farms, I got to ride horses like, you know, surf and soccer. And soccer is like the most famous uh, uh, show horse, won more championships than any other horse that's ever lived. And I fell in love with these horses because of the intelligence in their eyes and they, they really are living works of art. And I always dreamed about owning them. So six years ago, Lisa and I bought our first uh, Egyptian Arabian. Lisa is a horse lover too and can't contain her enthusiasm when it comes to this horse. In fact, the McNair's bred, owned, and trained Tamman, and Patrick has shown him over the years. But when it looked like someone else might buy Tamman, Lisa couldn't let that happen and bought him for Patrick for his birthday. I kept on saying, we can't buy another horse, we can't buy another horse. And uh, finally, and of course I love Tamman too, and so finally I broke down and two days before his birthday, we called him, we said, it's okay, we're getting the horse. Don't send him off. And after we hung up the phone, I turned to him and I said, Happy birthday. <laughs> Patrick has shot this beautiful poster with Tamman, and proceeds go to Arabian programs. And Tom McNair still has a guiding hand on this fine horse. See, I've got the best of both worlds. I get to I get my cake and eat it too. See, I have a I get to keep him at my house and Patrick owns it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Showing in halter classes is something Patrick really enjoys, and it's obvious he's really very good at it. But he has his sights set on becoming a trainer and expanding his talents to many areas of horsemanship. He's also a very accomplished rider, and while his rugged good looks and graceful movements make him appealing to watch, it's his natural, easy communication with the horse that really comes through. You know, it seems like uh, the more I work with horses, the more I realize I don't know. You know, I thought I thought I knew what I was doing when I, when I was rodeoing and stuff, and I found out that I, I didn't know beans. All I, all I did was get on a well-tuned horse that somebody else trained and rode it to a calf, you know, or whatever, uh, or a steer. And um, Lisa and I just want to continue to become the best trainers we can and, and learn more and more about horses. Because I find, I find horses teach me a great deal about acting, you know, because uh, training a horse is about your basic skills and communication. And sometimes we get to find out how bad we are at it, as in the same way as you do as an actor. Um, and working horses, I just find that they're like an emotional barometer. They let me know what kind of shape my insides are, are in. And if I'm full of it, they won't work for me. Yet if I'm connected with that horse and, and honest with it, he'll work for me. Patrick's long-standing love affair with Arabians, and particularly this Arabian, Taman, is something he feels quite passionate about. For me, they're living works of art. You know, I mean, they are not called drinkers of the wind for nothing. They've got stamina, endurance, and 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 absolute passion. I mean, they, they have a capacity for love that I never found with any other horse. And I still love quarter horses because I was raised with them, you know. And I don't like to talk about why this a given breed is better than any other breed because it's to, to each his own, and I don't believe in... And uh, and uh, saying that mine's right and yours wrong, I think that's a problem with the world. You know, we got, we got to kill each other and prove ourselves right, rather than allow everybody their own truth. But Arabians, for me, are are tr are truly my friends. They're 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 art. For Patrick and Lisa, owning and working with Arabians is part of what they worked so hard to achieve, and they are finding great fulfillment in realizing this dream. I couldn't afford to have horses for 15 years, and it was really a, a major thing missing in my insides. And and having horses back in my life is, is also about honoring my dad. He dreamed always. You know, he grew up, he was a Texas State champion calf roper, and, and my grandfather was a foreman at the King Ranch, and, and he always dreamed about, about getting back into horses in his lifetime, and he didn't get to do it, so I'm doing it for him. Patrick Swayze, 
bringing talent and dedication to the horse world.